how to generate a new multiplayer Minecraft server or single player Minecraft world using a level seed. All right, guys, first of all, I'm going to be showing you how to generate a new multiplayer Minecraft server using a level seed. And later in the video, I'm going to be showing you how to generate a new single player Minecraft world using a level seed. To create a new multiplayer server using a specific level seed, the first thing you'll need to do is copy the seed that you want to use to generate your Minecraft multiplayer server. The seed that I'm going to be using is this seed here, and it's for a mushroom world. Once you've found your seed, guys, highlight it, right click on it, and copy it. Once you've copied your seed, navigate to your Minecraft server files. For me, guys, my Minecraft server files are on my desktop in a folder called Minecraft server files. So I'm going to double click on this folder here and I'm going to maximize this window. As you can see guys, in my Minecraft server files here, I have my server.jar and I have my batch file, which contains my Minecraft start server command. To generate a server using our seed, we're going to need to add it to our server.properties file. You're first going to need to generate the server.properties file. To do this, simply run your Minecraft start server command batch file for the very first time. So I'm just going to double click on it here to run the command. Once you've ran your command for the very first time, you'll get the logs folder, the EULA text document, and the server.properties file, which is what we need. Double click on the server.properties file, and if you're on Windows, you'll be greeted with this little notification which says, how do you want to open this file? For the server.properties properties file, you're going to want to open it with a text editor. I'm going to be going with notepad. Before I select notepad, I'm going to uncheck mark this box which says always use this app to open dot properties files. Once you've done that guys, left click on your text editor, which again in my case is notepad, and then left click on OK. Your server dot properties file will then open as a text document in your text editor. I'm just going to maximize this window here for better viewing. Once you've got your server dot properties file open, locate the line which contains online dash mode equals true. Most likely guys, that's going to be at the very bottom here. And as you can see guys, online dash mode equals true is right here. We're going to need to make space for a new line directly under online dash mode equals true. So left click after the word true here and then press enter on your keyboard to make a new line. On this new line guys, type the following level dash seed equals. Once you've typed in level dash seed equals after the equals symbol, right click and then left click on paste to paste in your unique seed. Once you've done that guys, navigate to the top left hand corner here to file, left click on file and left click on save to save the changes you have just made to your server.properties file. Once saved, close out of your server.properties. Now you'll need to open up your EULA text document by double clicking on it and changing EULA equals false to true. So I'm just going to do that now guys. Once you have done that guys, Navigate to the top left hand corner to file and left click on save and close out of your EULA text document. Now run your start server command batch file for the second time to start your Minecraft server and generate the rest of the server files. I'm just going to maximize the command prompt here for better viewing. And I'll be back with you guys once our Minecraft server is running. All right guys, I'm back. And as you can see, our Minecraft server is now running. So I'm just going to minimize the CMD window here. Do not close it as this will stop your server. And I'm going to close out of the Minecraft server files folder also. And now guys, what we're going to do is open up our Minecraft launcher and connect to our newly created Minecraft server, which we generated using the mushroom world seed that I chose. All right guys, I already have the Minecraft launcher open. It's just minimized. So I'm just going to maximize this window here. As you can see guys, I'm now on the Minecraft home screen. I'm going to left click on multiplayer here and I'm going to add a new server by left clicking on add server. Once here, pick a server name. So I'm just going to type mushroom world. Once you've chosen a server name, enter your server address. Now, because I'm running my server on my local computer, I'm just going to type the number zero in here and then left click on done. Once done guys, as you can see, Mushroom World has been added to our server list. And as you can see, we got four bars and zero out of 20 people are connected. So I'm just going to left click on Mushroom World here to select it. And then I'm going to left click on join server. You'll now be taken into your Minecraft server. And as you can see guys, in the distance is our Minecraft Mushroom World, which we generate 
generated using the level seed. All right, guys, so that's how you generate a Minecraft multiplayer server using a level seed. I'm now going to show you how to generate a Minecraft single player world using a level seed. So I'm just going to press escape here and I'm going to disconnect from my server. I'm going to left click on cancel to be brought back to my Minecraft home screen. Once here, I'm going to left click on single player here and then I'm going to left click on create new world. Pick a world name. So I'm just going to go with mushroom world once again. Once you've chosen your world name, look for where it says more world options and left click on it. Once here, at the very top of the new world creation screen, you can see it says seed for the world generator and underneath it says leave blank for a random seed. Of course, guys, we don't want a random seed. We want a specific seed. So I'm going to be entering the seed that I copied at the start of this video for the mushroom world. You can enter the seed that you copied to generate your Minecraft single player world. So all I'm going to do now, guys, is left click on this box here and paste in my level seed. Once done, all you need to do is left click on done. Once you have done that guys, navigate to the bottom left hand corner to where it says create new world, left click on it and your single player world will then be generated using your chosen level seed and you'll be taken into your world. And as you can see guys, again in the distance is our mushroom world, which we generated using the selected level seed. All right guys, that pretty much concludes the video on how to generate a new multiplayer Minecraft server or single player Minecraft world using a level seed. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to give it a like, comment down below, and most importantly of all, subscribe to support the channel. I'll see you on the next video. Why is it so